Hi everyone, it's Matthew from the DDO library and welcome to the monthly must read for the zero to eight years old. I'll show you five must read books for the month of October. It's not a top five, they're all great, but for different people. The first book today is Professor Goose Debunk Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Paulette Bourgeois and Alex G. Griffith. Professor Mary Curious Goose knows a lot about science. In her free time, she likes to debunk fairy tales. Something is not right with Goldilocks and the Three Bears. For start, bears don't live in a house and they don't eat porridge. The story needs to be fact-checked to be sure it's all true. Rediscover Goldilocks' story in a new light with the funny observation of Professor Goose. The other use the old fairy tale to teach kids about real science in a hilarious way. I recommend it for older kids 6 to 8 years old. Our next book is Lulu and Zoe, a sister story by Carrie Finison and Brittany Jackson. Being a sister is not always easy. Sometimes you fight and don't want to share, but other times you play together and make fantastic art and craft. The book is a simple yet charming illustration of sisterhood. The third recommendation this month is Daddy and Me and the Rhyme to Be, a Charisma World picture book by Chris Bridge Alkion Person and Parker Nia Gordon. Karma is a seven years old girl and she loves making music. Her dad is an artist and when his birthday comes, she decides to make him a special present. She wants to write him a song. It's not easy to find the right rhymes, but with a little bit of help, Karma will compose the perfect song directly from her heart. The next suggestion is Annie's Cat is Sad by Heather Smith and Karen Obuyanknich. One day after school, Annie noticed that her cat seemed sad. He must have had a bad day. She will try to change his mind with games, TV, and even a cappuccino, which is technically just warm milk, but there is no cat pun good enough to make you forget a bad day. Sometimes, it's okay to cry a little and be sad. Of course, a big hug usually helps a lot. Our last picture book this month is Chickadee Criminal Mastermind by Monica Sylvie and Elena Ellis. You all know by now how much I like a funny picture book. That one was really good. It made me laugh that loud. Chickadee is a criminal mastermind, a bad seed, a bad influence. He is living a life of crimes. No one knows in the forest because he wears a mask, but he cannot be trusted. He goes to human house to steal food they have left unattended in a little wooden house in their yard. The little bird is super cute and takes himself so seriously. That's super funny. And now, if you want to read one of the books I've shown you today, reserve them on the library's website. All the links are in the description. Or come to the library for even more book recommendations. And I see you next time.